Uh, our next speaker, we're, we're pleased to have him with us, uh, is the European Director of Construction and Development for AIG Lincoln. Uh, he is a Berlin-based uh, professional, and uh, which is, of course, a very interesting city for architecture and, of course, green architecture as well. And uh, I understand that AIG Lincoln is uh, implementing uh, 1 million square feet of uh, green certified uh, projects. And uh, we're, of course, uh, I'm sure will be increasing uh, as their, their uh, capability and, and experience go, uh, goes forward. Uh, we'd like to uh, uh, hear about uh, an implementation within Romania. So David, thanks. Thank you. Good morning. Um, yes, as uh, Steve said, my name is David Lawrence. I'm the uh, regional director for our planning construction of all our developments and um, I'm delighted to be here and uh, see all the interest in green buildings. Um, it's been a bit of a journey for me over the last uh, two years and um, as Joanna said earlier I've been I've probably gone into the campaigner box since I've, I've actually uh, been introduced to the, the green building. Okay let me just explain to you a little bit about AIG Lincoln and who we are. Um, we're a multifunctional developer and we develop, uh, develop essentially speculative office, logistics, retail and residential buildings across uh, Central and Eastern Europe. Um, we are in eight different countries um, and we develop in about 23 different cities. Um, we are currently, including what we're in planning and uh, construction at the moment, we're developing about 2.5 2 million square meters across the region. And we're doing that with only about 250 people, so we re rely a lot of, uh, on a lot of consultants and third parties. These are the countries that we operate in, Spain, Italy, Germany, Poland, Czech, Slovak, Hungary, Russia, and as of last year, Romania. The journey started about two years ago, maybe three years ago, when our uh, major investor, AIG Lincoln, asked us what we were doing in Europe with regards to green building. Most of you may, have, may know AIG, if you don't, they are the largest uh, insurance company in the world. Um, they now sponsor Manchester United, so most people have heard of them. So we defined green, I suppose, as and in, in terms of a developer's perspective, as it, it, uh, we call it sustainability. And we, sustainability from our point of view is made up of economic viability. We are a speculative developer, so we have to make profit. But we also have to take consideration of the environment, have a social responsibility, and it's very much about long-term growth for future generations, certainly our children, so that we actually develop projects that have a long-term future. Um, it's very well building green, but those developments have to be sustainable, they have to be a development where people want to come. So we call it ESG, and that stands for Environmental Social Governance. And these are the, these are the areas that that covers. That is environmental issues, which cover the physical uh, environment, the management of greenhouse gas emissions, regulations, climate change, waste generation, and generally the carbon footprint. Social issues such as labor, health, safety, supply chain management, product safety, consumer relations and community involvement. And finally, govern governance issues including transparency, accountability and stakeholder engagement. As of 2008, um, all of our commercial developments will be required to be a very good rating. Um, Anna uh, earlier showed you the different um, gradings and now we have the information available all of our commercial developments will be a very good rating and I'll talk to you and show you some more examples. This year um, we will be developing the first um, European bespoke Bream manual with Bream and I think uh, that should be uh, available as of uh, late summer I think Anna. <laughs> um, and that, that will enable us to certify our buildings in eight different countries and beyond and I know BRE will develop that uh, for all European countries. So that, that's been a huge step forward because uh, in my mind, Europe, there are other certification processes. I know there's one in, in France. The Germans are starting to looking at one. But Bream has been around the longest and is certainly for European developments um, by far the most usable in terms of a developer. It's also being demanded by tenants. It was uh, mentioned earlier. Our, cus our clients are, are the uh, tenants who go in our buildings and many of them are now requiring a very good 
bream rated building for them to occupy. We'll also be working with the uh, International Council of Shopping Centres on their European standard which is a parallel um, manual that will hopefully be developed also this year. So that will uh, feed into our retail projects that we're doing in the region. So why Bream? Um, it takes a holistic approach um, and the life cycle of the development which, which fits in very well with what we do anyway. Um, it's international and it's credible. Um, it's customer focused and um, also we touched on the cost of implementation. This is the uh, project, the Quadrum Budapest, um, which was our pilot project which we started uh, two years ago in, in very early on in the design stage. Um, it's 20,000 square meters, four buildings, so it's like a mini campus project. Um, we're halfway through the first building. There's another image of it. And that's the certificate we finally got, which we got a very good rating for um, last year. That's the, that's the certificate you get. <laughs> this is a building we're doing up the road, about two kilometers uh, from here. There's a big hole in the ground. So this will um, be uh, constructed over the next two years. We're um, at the moment just uh, finalizing the certification, which we hope will also be a very good rating. I'm sure it will. This is called Lakeview Project. It's, uh, about 40,000 square meters total, and um, our first development in, in Romania. This is a project in, um, in uh, Czech Republic called The Park, which has been uh, won many, many awards um, over the years, and um, we're on our 12th building there. And I'll show you this because this is a project that been, we've been working on for the last five, six years. And just to show you some of the kind of green elements that we've built into the park to make it a very, very good destination for tenants. We have some really, really good tenants, DHL, Sun Microsystems, Sony, and they love this destination because it is a sustainable development. They love, people love coming to work here. Um, I show you this project. We haven't certified this project yet, but we will do. Um, this project is in Moscow, it's 100,000 square meters, uh, called White Square. And I show you this project because this was the first time a tenant came to us, which happened to be Price Waterhouse, and said, what rating is your building? And everyone went in our company, oh gosh. <laughs> and this, is, this really woke us up to what the demand in the market is. Um, so from, that, from this time, all of our projects we're looking at in Russia also will be bream rated. This is a project next door, another 100,000 square meters, and we've just done the, the, the Breen pre-estimator, uh, and we will start the certific certification process on this. This is a, a retail park in Bruno, uh, in Czech Republic, and I wanted to demonstrate, this is a rendering, we've, uh, we're probably 30% of the way through, but to give you an example of, of what we're doing in terms of um, making the, the look and the feel and also the project um, green. We're putting in some green roofs, green walls, as you can see here, and really making it a very attractive destination. It's very close to a hospital, a university. At the mo uh, beforehand, it was just a piece of wasteland, and again, it will be a very uh, good destination for shoppers and workers. This is a project in Munich which we're just uh, finishing the rating. We should also get a, receive, a, 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 I think, a, a very good 60 points for this project. This is a project in Milan, Italy. Um, this project is the first one where we're considering using solar technology, which is, a, again, a first for us. This is a logistics park in Germany, which is the first project we used uh, rainwater harvesting which again was a first for us this year, where we actually co uh, collect all the water and reuse it within the building. And finally, uh, Airport Dusseldorf, Air Park City Dusseldorf, um, we're developing a 12,000 square meter office and this will be the first project where I would like to think we get an excellent rating and we're looking at every aspect of the BREAM criteria to try and ensure that we receive that. So that's been my little journey over the last two years with regards to uh, environmental sustainability for our developments. Um, it's been 
um, a very, very interesting journey, and I think um, everyone within our team has woken up to the fact um, that things have to be done, things have to be changed. But I think more importantly, it's, um, it's provided us with a framework to work with. We're now building in the BRIM criteria to all of our design, um, to our designers, to our architects, to our engineers. And um, as we go forward, I think we'll be providing more and more information which will feed back into the life cycle of, of, of our projects. Um, so far, we've tackled the design element. The next stage in our journey will be to tackle the property management side, which is the efficient running of the, of the projects. Thank you.